beautiful sun drops. This is sunshine, and welcome to something very special. This is a game that just came out yesterday, Cult of the Lamb. I would have recorded it yesterday, but I was having some technical difficulties. But we're here now, and that's all that matters. Don't mind. Okay. Uh, don't mind this. That's a personal thing. So we're going here. To a new save. Uh, I already... Know this game. Praise the Lamb. Conduit to great power. Promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beasts take heed. For a crown cannot sit upon two brows. As I was saying, I already know this game because I watched a YouTuber who I will not mention because honestly he is too powerful for me. Uh, but I watched someone play it and he just beat the main game, so I know how this ends. And I'm sorry if things are laggy. I don't have good systems. But I'm doing my best here. Okay. Oh. Summoning 1. Summoning 10. 13. I am very entertaining, I swear. And I will say now, for those that, you know, know how the game works with uh, followers, because, I mean, it's a cult simulator game, um, I have already chosen, reached out to some of my friends, and chosen three Starting followers. Ah, are we? We here? Are we beginning? I've th chosen three starting followers for. Uh, well, I I guess that sentence is self-evident. I don't know where I was going, but let's get into the game as soon as it loads. I am sorry for all of the issues. Hopefully in the future it will be fixed. But for now, please just bear with me. Ah. This is us. A cute little lamb. Very sad. Chained up. I can walk though. I'm sorry I'm not reading these credits, and I'm sorry that I'm silent. But, here we are. In front of four... very injured monsters looking things. And we're kneeling to be sacrificed. Before it stands the last of its kind, all others have hunted... we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. And we're dead. So, that was a great game, wasn't it? We walk up, we read a little thing, and we're alive again. I 
And here we are in some dream realm, kind of bloody. We walk upon someone in chains. The one who waits. Come closer. Fear not, for thou, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Yes, or absolutely. Obviously, this is the correct answer. And we have a little animation of a crown. A re e red crown falling upon our head. Cult of the Lamb. Title, title drop. And we are alive again. Because... Yes. Th we, we have made a deal with the devil, and he has brought us back to life. And I'm... I'm going to have to go through settings, aren't I? Hold on, I am sorry. This is unprofessional. Let's see if that's any better. Uh, what did I do? No, do not do hard difficulty, please, and thank you. Hello? I, um, rumble. Okay, let's see if this helps. Okay. I mean, it's working now. We can roll. We're going to apparently have some lag. I am sorry. This is so entertaining, I swear. This is also probably going to hinder my already poor playing ability because of the lag. But I just wanted to do this for you folks. Because this is a game that I've been looking forward to since I found out, at the, since I saw the demo of it. I don't even know how long ago. But, I, it inter instantly piqued my interest and now I'm playing it. And I decided to play it for you guys. So here we are, loading. I have another computer in which this runs much better on, however I do not have any way to record audio with that. So until my mic microphone comes in, we're just going to have to deal with this. I'm sorry, again, I can restart if you guys so wish, but for now, Ratao, I don't know how to pronounce that, I have horrible skills at pronunciation, fear not, I am Ratao, I was once the chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds, I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. I could 
destroy everything in sight, but there is no point to that. So I'm just not going to. And this, not the black screen, but the dungeon is going to be half of the game. There are two halves. There's dungeon delving, and there's cult uh, management. And... Hopefully there won't be a lot of black screens and we can actually do things. So how are you guys? This is fantastic. I am also playing on a controller because when you open the game it says controller recommended and I figured it'd be more comfortable to play on a controller with a controller so I am because you guys care about that totally oh we're here it's a good thing that um, the, in this tutorial, you literally cannot die, and we have one gold coin. Congratulations! You have money. We we have money. I am great at speech. More black screens. I don't think I'm entertaining enough for black screens. But we're here. Also, I am sorry I don't record much. Life is incredibly busy. Jobs exist. Money. Ow. Oh, I was giving me this tutorial to avoid damage. Apparently I haven't gotten that yet. Um. Yes, I have a job. I spend all of my time there, basically. But, I did want to come back to recording for anyone that might care to watch so we're here we're doing cult things and it's great and there's a lot of black screens Maybe I should just <laughs> wait to record this when I have a computer that can run things well. That I can actually record things on. Also, yes, this is. It doesn't say it, but we have we have things equipped. This is a Crusader's Blade. I just felt like sharing that cuz it came to mind. It is the most basic of weapons. There are multiple weapon types in this game such as with pretty much all roguelikes. 
elements, I think. This is a roguelike. I mean, there's the roguelike elements of dungeon delving, with the management sim of the cult. So it's a pretty well mixed game. And I think it turned out great. With adorable little adorable art. I love what Devolver Digital and uh, My Mighty Monster something like that. I love what they did when making this game. It turned out really well. And apparently they're going they're still updating it. I mean this is like second day release, so that is to be expected. But for the first um what am I trying to say? For release day day after release day at this point, I did play it on release day. But uh, it's, it's really, it's really good. But I suppose that's what beta testing and early access is for. I took, I would have taken damage there if, you know, I had health, but I don't have that yet. But we we have money now. We have seven coins. So much money. Filthy rich. I should probably, you know, explain what those symbols on the map mean. Ah. Uh, the little sword that could also be portrayed as an upside down cross but I'm pretty sure it's a sword is generally what you'll run into it's basically several rooms and there's a little map in the corner upper left upper right corner I know my directions uh, that will ha show how many rooms there are well it It'll show the room you're in and any rooms adjacent. And then as you explore the, uh... Oh, sorry. We've nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. He is so intense. And it seems like he really wants his crown back, because he has a little paper crown. Uh, rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, I should not do voices. That was terrible. We ask you to accept the sacrifice of the wretched of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Uh, it is I. A little lamb. An adorable little lamb. I'm doing so great at this. Honestly, I know that there is, I, it is very laggy. I know that in this part there is no health, so I don't really care about not getting hit. There's a little mule donkey person that we are now rescuing, and they will as this says, be indoctrinated into our cult. Okay, so the sword, general thing, uh, means you're going to be going through several rooms and fighting enemies. Uh, this crown is currently where you are. The symbol that it is covering is a follower, meaning you'll get a follower after a battle. Question mark. Uh, 
generally unknown. It can be random events, such as... Well, I'll just let the game show you. This one is just exit. We have reached safety. You have done well with all the lagging. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. And he just burrows into the ground. So that's... He can't use a magic crown to teleport with pentagrams. Upside down pentagrams, specifically. It took six minutes to do the tutorial. We're doing great. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to make this episode. I want it to, you know, actually show things. But, you know, lag, long loading times, poor system. Anyway, we are here. In all our adorable glory, I'm playing on medium. Thank you very much. Cthulhu pack activated. That is because I pre-ordered the game. There is also DLC, which also is just... Uh, well, I'll explain soon, but... Yes, for now. This hallowed ground which once was mine is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Honestly, probably stone, because that takes the longest to do, and I don't want to have to do all of it. Anyway, this this is our little mule donkey person that we are in indoctrinating. Punano, convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. And this screen is where we actually can change what they look like. DLC from pre-ordering the game. Ah, uh, but I have three um, already picked out. Um, followers to start out with. So we will start here with Truffle, sent by my friend Eevee, E-V-I-E, -E. not, not the Pokemon. Uh, truffle here is zealous, which means they ignore dissenters when preaching. Sickly, they heal 15% slower when sick and in bed rest. And they're faithless. They generate devotion 15% slower. We will get into this later. But for now, I grant upon you a red shirt, because that is the color. Now, now gather me stone minion. I have to talk to this rat. By your hand, our co cults will grow powerful. But your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Imagine people needing food in order to survive. So I'm going to go around 
and gather some resources like wood and berries. And we also get berry bush seeds from harvesting those. But that is not what I meant to click. Okay, that works. You can see Truffle over here has mined a stone. He is he is a good good pig. I I enjoy Truffle very much. Now we are going to build. And I have a dog trying to get my attention. I guess we'll build it here since I did not think far enough into the future in order to place it where I wanted. Oh well. Food, your followers m need to eat and it's up to us to provide meals for them. There's a hunger icon. While crusading we can get uh, forging locations which is that symbol there. That just means there's food there that can be cooked. And there's also farming plots. I've already gotten enough ingredients to make a basic berry bowl. So we're going to cook and it's this simple little game where you try to get the line in the green arrow. Now we must build a shrine, but first we need more we will need more followers and more gold, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go! There you shall find gold and willing recruits for those who are not willing. Convert them by force. And now we have the ax- the, 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 We have access to going to the dungeon portion of this. Otherwise known as crusading. So we'll just... We'll go up here. There's a door. It's glowing. We will open said door. By having our followers pray at this shrine. And it erupting fire for some reason. This is how you open doors. Isn't this normal? Don't don't you open all your doors like this? Anyway, we're going to crusade through the uh, lands of the old faith with our cute little lamb. Might die because lag, but I'll do my best. I'm also pretty terrible at games. So you'll see me make a fool of myself. I'm glad that that little loading bar is actually moving. This eye in the center is staring at us. Ominously. But that's fine. We're a cult. This is normal. This is comforting. Not scary. Just comforting. I feel like I was saying something earlier. I don't remember. Pardon me for my poor memory. I can't remember a lot of things. But that's not important. What's important is the game. This very, very good game. That I am doing a poor job at displaying to you with my poor 
very old system. But I am attempting to rectify that. So, hopefully, soon, you will have actually good content and not loading screens. I just have to be able to, you know, record. It is also quite late in the evening for me. So I'm sorry if I have to take a break to yawn from my enticing commentary. The best of commentary. But you'll just have to bear with me if this even goes up. Until then, we just sit, watching this eye, and this round bar spin in circles, with a crown, the red crown, staring at us. See how it watches your every move. I'm going to stop because that's, I'm being weird and probably, probably not very entertaining. But, I mean, I'm doing my best for you. We have made progress. So, I'm trying not to yawn audibly, but I'm sorry if you do end up hearing my yawn. We're adorable. We now have health. Three hearts. We're in the dark wood. Here's another Crusader's Blade. I didn't show that off, but you know, it it shows stats damage of 1.1, speed of 1. And every every room you defeat enemies in, in the upper left there, the map, you will get treasure chests, for, but also there are other rooms in each little fighting combat uh, area. Some of fighting rooms have traps, and I've already taken damage. There are traps like spikes on the floor. Oh, I have health. It is showing mercy. Then there's ominous uh, stars hanging from the ceiling. Where you can draw tarot cards. I should let the game explain that. Praise the Lamb, conduit of great power, promised liberta liberator of the one who waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, Lamb. And yet, this is the first. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards, they shall decide. We get two options. We have the Lover's One, which gives us one blue heart, and Death's Door, which, when we get down to a half a heart, all enemies will be dealt two damage. I'm going with the blue heart. 
Blue hearts are temporary hearts. You cannot argue with the draw. One might as well argue with the ocean. Okay. O ocean. Molly. Go lay down. Um, there are also red hearts. They, they are permanent. However, you can die. Which, you know, that's kind of standard for games such as this. This game has great music. I'm glad the music works. Jamming out to this. I can't even tell what kind of instrument that is. I, I play an instrument as there's a video on this channel. Please don't watch that. That is absolutely terrible. Uh, but I do play an instrument. So I... I'm at least moderately knowledgeable about music. But uh, I would think that the music of this game is entirely made with computers. Unless that's just an instrument I'm not aware of. Oh, a pa a that squirrel just died. I didn't even touch it. It just evaporated money and gold nuggets and we can get food or we can get lumber I'm going for lumber because there's a lot of food already in our little cult site and you can farm not yet but you can eventually farm so I, th I think the wood would be a, a better choice for now once we can view the wood and we see the wood oh there's a cute little statue it dies now we just use our sword, which is also a crown, to just break everything. And we just get tons of wood, at least 20 lumber. But now we have a boss, that's what that little skull is. There will always be a boss at the end of the map. There are several little bosses of this game, as with several roguelikes. I am just spewing out information that is probably common knowledge. So. But. Oh, it's no longer an eye, it's now a pentagram. An upside down pentagram that is being covered with clouds or something. So there are different loading screens. If I could stop yawning, I apparently just need to get more oxygen I'm not breathing hard enough but hopefully I'm not bothering you guys with said yawning I'm trying to be at least the slightest bit entertaining with this
So I want I want to show off a good game that just came out. But it's a good game. And I'm just doing the worst job at showing off how great it is. I, I bet at least 60% of this video is just loading screens. Meanwhile, Truffle is back at home, just mining away at rocks, wondering wherever could that lion, <laughs> could that lamb that rescued me have gotten. I like that you can just customize every single follower you get. It's a it's a good choice on um, the developer's part giving so many options but I have as I said three followers uh, given to me from by friends I sent them uh, their, their choices so they have designed them mostly some of them designed every aspect Eevee was one such every aspect you see of Truffle except that which cannot be altered is designed by Eevee well uh, two others that I have were somewhat chosen mostly chosen by them and I had to take some creative liberty but you will see them when I am able to customize them I also just realized it's 10 at night for me. So. But that means nothing to you since this will be uploaded at a later point in time. This loading screen sure is, uh, sure is great. I am running out of things to talk about during loading screens because I am not interesting. And I don't want to spoil segments of this game more than I already have. Because more than likely this is your guys' first time... Well, maybe not more than likely. But there is a chance this is your guys' first time at seeing any of this game. Or you guys specifically searched for this and came here. In which case, I apologize, why would you come here? But... Uh... I'm trying not to spoil too much of the game. For those that don't know anything. At least... All that I've really spoiled is like things that we're seconds from seeing or like giant pieces of the game like managing the cult but 
but I don't know what else to talk about. And it'd be rude to talk about other games during this game. Other than perhaps games by the same creators. But I... While I know other games they have made, I can't... I don't have them memorized because I've seen a lot of games in my time. I sound like I'm an old man. But it's fine. We are still placing rooms. Six of them. We're probably going to finish... We're at the boss, right? I'm pretty sure we're at the boss. We're going to beat this boss. And then probably call it an episode. Because you don't want to watch more... Uh, loading screens and if I was smart I would cut this out but I don't even know how to do that actually I probably know how to do that but I don't know what commentary I might want to keep from these loading screens and we're here the boss is always going to be a fighting area So, uh, sorry I didn't explain that at all. Uh, I'm probably not going to explain any tarot cards other than those first two that I did. And maybe ones that we get along the way. We'll see. But for now... We shall fight. This is probably... <laughs> I can speak. This is probably going to be at least an hour long video. I just hope it doesn't automatically stop recording. And then I'm lost as to where we were. But we are here. How have I not been hit yet? I don't know. But you know, we I didn't. This music is intense. Intense is probably not the right word to use there. But... It's... It's... The only word I can think of at the moment. I'm great at speaking. And we're having more black screens while we wait for a room to load. Also, if you guys want followers, because I'm having all of the followers I can possibly have uh, created by you guys watching, so you will see every time I make a follower, indoctrinate a follower, you will see what options we have for what form they can take. And all the colors are pretty much the same. So just comment down below what uh, form and color you'd like your follower to take and what name you would love for them to have. And I will have them in my cult. And I hope that doesn't sound weird. Oh, 
fall. Things are breaking. I'm not breaking them. And we are floating. How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all of your can kind were. And yet, here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. That was Leshy, the commander of the Dark Wood, which is the area we're in right now. Lashy's great. And here's the boss. Here's Lashy again. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same to yours? I give myself to the cause, O oh mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. And this guy just explodes into this. This is our boss. Amducius. And uh, he's, he's a pretty easy boss. Now, I've already taken damage at, at twice. I was stuck inside of him. As I was trying to say, he's a pretty easy boss. Uh, you know, if you can see. But I am having difficulty even doing that. However, we have one. And there's, there's Imducius. Very scared. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. And into a portal he goes. They go. I don't know what gender they are. And we get three choices gold nuggets, berry bush seeds, or a small gift. I'm going with the small gift. The gift is not for us, however. We cannot open said gift. Instead, we shall just press on and go through another portal. There is an ominous door with a green crown symbol on it. Heretics defeated. You will see the screen a lot. 19 minutes for that. My average run in on my other computer is 10. I've gotten exactly 10 minutes before. But that will probably be it for this episode. I'm sorry that it has been mostly loading screens. But thank you for watching and have a sunshiny day.